Electric Vehicle EV charging points have been installed in around 300 housing board car parks, or around 15% of all HDB car parks. We are on track to achieve our target for one third of HDB car parks to have charging points by the end of this year," said Senior Minister of State for Transport Amy Kaur on Wednesday, when she provided the updated figures. The large-scale tender, which was awarded to five companies to install and operate, aims to have at least 12,000 charging points in nearly 2,000 car parks by the end of 2025. By 2030, Singapore wants to have more than 60,000 EV charging points, with 40,000 in public car parks and 20. 000 on private premises. The government's Singapore Green Plan 2030 pushes for electric vehicles to ensure that all vehicles are powered by cleaner energy by 2040. These are expected to include both fully electric vehicles and hybrids. Dr. Kaur, who is also Senior Minister of State for Sustainability and the Environment, was speaking at the Marina Bay Sands at an event by EFCO, a joint venture company between SMRT's business, Arm Strikes Mobility in DST, electric vehicle rental Shenzhen. The firm was celebrating how its electric vans help customers avoid producing over 300 tons of carbon dioxide CO2 emissions. Carbon avoidance reduces carbon emissions by preventing the production of carbon dioxide in the first place. In this case, the emissions are avoided when customers make the switch to electric vehicles. EFCO Chief Executive Fuji Fu told the media that the amount of CO2 avoided was based on the distance that its electric vans traveled. Factoring in the type of vehicle, which affects energy consumption, as well as EV charging information. EFCO leases out electric vans and uses data analytics to find ways to improve the way the fleet is used and reduce its overall emissions. The company plans to expand into ASEAN, Australia and New Zealand. The next stop is slated to be Thailand, where it will begin leasing EVs by the last quarter of 2023. Miss Judy Lee, who chairs EFCO's board, said that the company will establish distribution networks through partnerships and tap customers' regional networks to expand rather than go it alone. The company said that since its launch in April 2022, it has over 30 customers in different industries. These include small and medium sized enterprises SMEs in logistics, security, Pest Control and Facilities Management Security services firm Certis, one of EFCO's customers, said that over a distance of more than 9,600 km, the use of electric vans has cut its CO2 emissions by 2. 6 tons. Pest Control company Antisimax said that its arrangement with EFCO has helped it lower the average cost of vehicle ownership by 30%. This takes into consideration the purchasing price, operating costs as well as the cost of getting rid of the vehicle at the end of its useful life. While leasing our electric vans is EFCO's main business, it is partnering local bank OCBC to extend sustainability link financing to help SMEs which want to buy the vehicles. Mr. Melvin Lowe, the bank's head of global transaction banking, said at the event that OCBC is also working to allow users to make payment for EVE charging on EFCO's fleet management smartphone application. EFCO on Wednesday also launched a digital dashboard that lets customers track their vehicle fleet's environmental impact down to the individual vehicle to help firms set environmental targets. Correction note, an earlier version of the story stated that the 300 EV chargers were installed under a large-scale tender called in November 2022. The Ministry of Transport has clarified that the number of chargers also include those under a pilot tender called jointly by the Urban Redevelopment Authority and the LTA.